Virgo. Hi, my babies. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I love you. And if you're coming back, welcome. <laughs> I love you. Um, okay, so this is for, this is a general read. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Ooh, hello. Um, yeah, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, wherever you have Virgo on your chart, might, might be dealing with a Virgo. Remember, it's not going to resonate with everyone. So if it's not your story, that's okay. Just keep it moving. I can't pick up on everyone. Um, and there's plenty of readers out there. Also, okay, so there is no also. Just kidding. Um, oh, maybe. If you want to book a, uh, a read, a personal read, my information is in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. All right, so when I was first shuffling, I felt like there was some sort of, the Saturn card had popped out. Wow. <laughs> and here he is again. All right, so he was bound to come out because when I was shuffling for you guys in here, we have a Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aries or something with strong cardinal. If you don't know about the modalities, I don't know what to say. Anyway, <laughs> but it was, I felt like there was something that you guys have overanalyzed time and time again. And it's almost like you've overanalyzed the situation so much that you've become confused. And I kind of just feel like somebody needs to speak up. All three of these people here are all looking in the same direction. But the first one out that came, I mean, to be fair, Saturn <laughs> might have been the first one out. But I put it back in because the way I split the deck and it popped out. Like it literally popped and I was just like, okay, I kept it out for a while. Then I put it back in. And then as I'm telling you, he came back out. So, but Neptune here, there's like some delusion somewhere there. Um, you could be idealizing something or a situation or even a person. And it's not, not seeing the truth for what it is. And Saturn right here is the truth card. Um... But I feel like something has a key, has either keeps going in circles or it's coming full circle or both. But I do kind of just feel like instead of overanalyzing situation, spirit is needing you to kind of just like chill, like give your mind a break. Because whatever is going on right now is kind of like out of your control. So I'm going to use a bone fire tarot. Bonefire Tarot. I don't know why I feel compelled to say it in a country accent. <sighs> Could be dealing with a set of tears, but like I said, Pisces, Aries, or even Scorpio, um, Capricorn, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Honestly, once, I, once again, gang's all here. Could be dealing with a Gemini, though. I was feeling like somebody needs to communicate. And if this is, has anything to do with the last couple of reads for you guys, somebody's got to communicate. Somebody's got to make a move. And this could be with, like, anything, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be with love. Again, I'm still feeling like somebody... Yeah, I feel like somebody is still not taking the plunge like not going after something that they really want it's like Saturn with this energy it's like restriction there's limitations and this would be like equivalent to the Emperor card um you know he kind of just sits back and just lets things he, he watches from afar four of wands you while he takes care of his household and you know his empire because he is the Emperor Ooh. four of swords two fours right at the back um, he doesn't make a move. He just kind of chills, kind of like the Four of Swords. Kind of like what I said you've been doing this whole time. Like, you kind of just been overanalyzing the situation. Um, he, he takes action when he's ready, when he needs to. So, you, I feel like you guys are definitely in masculine energy. Okay, that's too many cards there. Nine of Queens. Now, queens, it's like, okay, five of wands. Okay, this is almost like conflicting to me. 
because he had four of wands, four of swords, nine of coins with the five of wands. This speaks of conflict. This speaks about stability, rest and rejuvenation. This is that break that I was saying that you guys kind of like needed to take being content. But it's like, it's almost like there's an inner conflict with what? Maybe surrounding, um, maybe some insecurities, some fears, and this could be you or the other person that you're dealing with. But it's almost like not seeing, because if you look at this card, her third eye is shut, but she's looking through glasses <laughs> with her hands. And it's like, it's almost like a reality. And the Nine of Swords is about fears. It's, it's all in your mind. You kind of just made it up. <laughs> Making up these glasses with their hands. It's like, it's, a, it's, a, it's become a game, a mind game. Who wants that? So I feel like there, it's creating inner conflict, but it's like showing up in different areas of your life. Maybe somebody, because maybe you guys are like half-assed talking, like talking, but not really. It seems like you're amicable, but things aren't progressing the way you would hope. And it's kind of got you like, wait, what? But I thought, like, okay. Like if I could just use this as an example, there was someone that I had spoken to. We were together at one point and they kind of popped up, popped up, popped back up. And it was, I knew that they were coming. I felt it. I knew it. We have a crazy telepathic connection. I knew it. But it's like, we're, we're amicable. We're talking, but it's like, I can feel what he's thinking and I can feel what he's feeling. So it's like weird. You can feel this person and it seems like calm waters, but I feel like there's conflict somewhere. With the ace of spades being right here on her chest, somebody has something to get off of their chest. Somebody has something to say. They're gonna step forward, I feel. So at the bottom of the deck, we have queen of wands. So there could be two people in the part because there's two women in this. Um, there could be someone else around that's kind of like preventing this from happening. Again, like I said, Queen of Swords. This could be you or the other person. Maybe being two with the Queen of Cups being here and the Queen of Swords. This could be someone who's a little bit overly emotional and who's ready to pop off at any second. Really sharp with their words. Really smart makes pretty sound decisions does not take any shit from anyone but i feel like there's feelings involved so it's like it's a touchy it's like i'm not ready to give up the wave the white flag but i'm not ready to talk either the tower <laughs> with the ten of swords okay so i feel like if this is you like i said you've overanalyzed something to the point where it's like okay you got to give it up you got to give it up it's kind of oh like i said you are the other person but it's eating somebody up and here's that white flag it's gonna get to a point where you are no longer content There's something more to this nine of coins. I'm gonna clarify it. <laughs> I knew this was gonna come out. Nine of Swords. So, and this was at the bottom of the deck when this came out. So how freaking appropriate at the bottom of the deck is the five of coins. So somebody is feeling, I uh, feel like a little bit insecure about their finances. This person's watching you. I did say the emperor watches from afar. He doesn't say anything. Wow, look. Okay, so it's the five of coins at the bottom of the deck with the page of swords watching you from afar. Ten of cups, you are there happy. But it's like, and it, I feel like it's equal. It's mutual. With who? The emperor. Look at how scary he looks. He is scared. I feel like he feels like this is you when this is actually you. And I feel like you're trying to like be cool calm collected this is a soul contract by the way i just wanted to let you guys know that in some sort of way you guys have unfinished business i feel 
um, because Saturn just went direct. So Saturn, you know, it's karmic. Everything is karmic. But this is coming back around. And it's like, you knew this was coming back around. Like I said, I knew that this person was going to come back around. For what? I don't know. But it's going to like knock you. That's not what I wanted to say. I heard knock you off your feet. And it's like her legs are. Who's got red toenails? Somebody's waiting 1234, one, two, three, four, their steps is, is levels to this before they take some sort of action. I feel like this person knows that they're running out of time. And I feel and I feel like this could be you too. If you're needing to speak up and say something, I feel like you feel like you're running out of time. Like you know you've been taking your sweet ass time. You know that you've been overanalyzing a situation too much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, somebody really has something to say. Something has to be like taken off of their chest. Somebody's trying to keep themselves busy with work. It's no longer, it's, it's going to get to a point where that's not going to work no more. Spirit is going to make sure that you're no longer content. It's like, okay, with the two nines being here, it's like something is almost at a completion where it's like, okay, you're almost done here. Like the alarm's about to go off. Okay. Yeah, the alarm's about to go off and it's going to like wake you up out of your precious little slumber. You or this other person, King of Wands could be dealing with a Aries Leo Sagittarius and I said that off the bat this is somebody who's very in control of their emotions who has a crazy poker face what about the four of wands the devil Capricorn energy <sighs> again poker face like he's got all these chips stacked it's like on the outside it's cool comic like on the inside there's something else going on on the inside on the inside, I'm feeling like there's confusion. There's some sort of addiction, some sort of like toxicity. And this could be obsessive behavior. Remember I said you overanalyzing a situation so much. So you could be, this could be your obsessive behavior as far as thinking about something over and over. And you guys are mercurial. You guys are, you know, ruled by mercury. You and Jim and I are best buds. Maybe not in real life, but you know, this is what... You guys have in common, you guys both share Mercury. Mercury is the thought. This is our, how we communicate. And Mercury is the faster moving planet. So your mind is running a mile a minute. Like, it's almost hard to slow it down. Oh, the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck is the tower in reverse. See, this is in the app right here is the tower. So it's like you're trying to be content, like you cool, but you're not. Or or it's the other person. But I'm focusing on whoever is watching this video, okay? Because if you're watching the video and you're looking for answers from someone else, remember the answers are always within. You know more than anything we don't hear we're just here for confirmation and i i say we like my guides me readers your guides like we just give you the confirmation you already know because with the tower in reverse this is trying to prevent you know something like um something from falling down like a foundation and I feel like it's just more so of this outer ex like this exterior that you've worked hard to build you have built walls around yourself and they're about to come crumbling down crumbling down oh turn out this nine of swords where are the, where's the nine of swords <laughs> the four of wands this is that stability okay so some okay there's two different scenarios that I'm getting here. And we have death in reverse. More Scorpio energy. Oh, okay. Oh, and Venus went into Scorpio today. So things are getting extremely intense. Okay. 
Um, but there's fear around the stability, the structure of something, a foundation. The tower speaks about a foundation, but so, so does the four of wands. So there could be conflict in a, in a home area. Like these two are heavily correlated. It's almost like you're afraid for something to be resurrected again for and because like what if it goes right this time and you're you're still over analyzing the situation. You or the other person. Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Swords in reverse at the bottom. So this is like not investing, like not wanting to, this is also, because usually this is about like waiting to see kind of like the return on your investment. This could also be about real estate as well. I just got that because there was fears around like the, the home, stability, somebody, you'd be worrying about somebody trying to swindle you someone trying to take advantage because this knight of wands is kind of finicky in and out it's like you don't really trust this person whoever this is is in and out you're like you don't really trust this person because they have this type of energy or this is how you're perceiving it because neptune is the delusion this is we're seeing things through rose tinted glasses so you could be perceiving as this and it remember i said it could what if it goes right this time and you've overanalyzed the situation to death and it's like, no, I don't want to invest in this no more because I know some of you are going to be in the comments like, I'm not wanting to go to the past, but yet you're watching the video. So there's a harsh truth <laughs> here. Somewhere there is a harsh truth. And it's like, it's creating this conflict, but it's like, you don't want to invest in this. Let me clarify the seven of wands. Or I'm sorry. Why did I say the seven of wands? See, that's being defensive. You're blocking something. Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Five of Wands. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Five. <laughs> Three of Cups. Reconciliation. And again, death at the bottom of the... Death in reverse. Someone doesn't want to give in to this. You or the other person. But it's like... If this is related to those those other reads you guys both feel the exact same way I don't know what you're gonna do Virgo I have no best advice for this right now because you need to pretty much take the time to decide what it is that you want when I was shuffling earlier I just felt like you know the bottom of the uh and by the way this Capricorn energy which is at the bottom of the deck. Somebody needs to freaking communicate before it's a missed opportunity. I feel like this is a very destined situation, okay? Because we have Capricorn, which is like the devil, first house, the fool, taking a leap of faith, going after something, not having a care in the world, not caring what other people think. Void of course, moon, missing. Because you guys miss each other. Walking towards your happiness. Eight of Cups walks away because they have everything, but they're not fulfilled. They're not completely happy. You need to go find that other cup to get your wish fulfillment. Third house, messages. This is all about communication. This is a house of Gemini. Like I said, could be dealing with Gemini. I said that in the beginning. With your destiny, this is the Ace of Swords in reverse. There's like, you're not being honest. You are not being honest with yourself or someone is not being, it's like there's something that somebody is not acknowledging this truth because they're scared there's fear don't be afraid so Virgo that's what I have for you if you want to book a personal reading that kind of elaborates more on this my information is in the description box below if this resonated comment like share subscribe I love 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 you guys and I'll talk to you soon